yo what's going on y'all this is your boy haba necker now haba and i'm bringing you a brand new video here today and before we get into it i just want to remind y'all i'm dropping a brand new free loop kit at 500 subs so if you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're at it if you enjoy the video make sure you like leave a comment really helps me out so with this video i have no idea what i'm going to be making but that's pretty typical around here if you've been here before but if not welcome aboard so i'm going to hit y'all with a beat preview real quick so you can see if you want to stick around but if not have a great day here we go All right, so y'all saw the beat preview. Um, I'm gonna start it out with a grand piano. I have no idea what I'm gonna be making today. Jump my BPM up to 162, and I'm just gonna start with some chords. So I like this. I'm just going to swap up this uh, rhythm a little bit here. And uh, how I just did that is if you highlight all these notes and you hold shift when you drag, it auto resizes both of the chords. Uh, that's just a nice little trick when you want to swap up uh, the length of chords. But so now we got this. Yeah, I like that. It gives it a little more groove, a little more bounce, um, in my opinion. You know, it adds a lot of tension, too, because the notes are a little longer on that first part, and I think it sounds really good. That, I'm going to take my root notes here, and I'm going to shift, click, and drag them when they're highlighted to duplicate them, and I'm going to drop them an octave by pressing Control down on the arrow keys. And then, other than just regular triads, these are actually uh, four notes. Chords. I don't know the actual term of them, but that's how I'm going to describe them. So now that I have this, I'm going to start on a top melody. Actually, now that I have this, I'm going to press Alt S to strumize these. And uh, this just humanizes it a little bit. And so, yeah. So I'm actually going to duplicate this F note and uh, throw it up an octave, but I'm going to drop the velocity. So I like this for a melody. Um, I just clicked in these lower notes here. I think they support the chords really well. And uh, so now I'm gonna work on a top melody if I can find something that fits. So I'm really liking this melody. So I'm just gonna press Alt-R to randomize the velocities a little bit. And then I'm gonna press Control-A and hold Alt and lower them as a group because I, I just know this piano VST, I prefer the velocities to be a touch lower rather than a touch higher. So now I'm gonna duplicate this over to make it eight bars and uh, I'm just gonna add some variation in the second half. Okay, so all I did for variation was I just pitched this up an octave and then I pitched up the F notes in the chords up an octave and I dropped the third F note in a row to an E and I did that on the first half as well. So now that we have our final melody, it sounds like this. So I'm actually going to leave the first uh, third chord with the F note rather than the E. Yeah, so now that we have that, we're going to name that piano. And I'm going to throw that on the mixer and see what I can do to it. So I'm going to throw halftime on it. So I'm going to look for a pad now. So I really like this pad. I still don't know how I feel about the halftime. I'm going to leave it for now, but it might come off later. Uh, I'm going to throw a crystallizer on the piano as well, just because I really like the effect. And then I just adjust it here, turn it down a little bit. 
So I think some sort of string would sound really good on this. I don't like it as much as I thought I would. So I'm gonna copy the melody over to a uh, mallet, the uh, Benin or Benign mallet and uh, expand. And I, I like how that sounds, except I'm not gonna half time it. I think it sounds good uh, without it. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of reverb and I'm gonna take out the low notes. I'm just gonna throw a slight pan on this pad. I'll turn down the width. Turn up the smoothing, turn up the rate a little bit. And then I swap this over to the middle. Yeah, I think that sounds cool. Uh, I'm actually gonna throw a delay on it too. So I'm gonna throw Echo Boy. All right, so I think this melody is starting to sound really good. I'm gonna throw it on the pattern and uh, I'm gonna start adding drums. I'm gonna start with a clap. Grab a hi hat. I'm gonna turn up the out knob slightly. I'm gonna grab an 808. I'm gonna just do cut self really quick. And uh, all you gotta do for this, just follow your root notes. I'm gonna keep it mad simple. I'm grab an open hat. Do something like that. I like to lower the second one's velocity just so it's not intense or as intense as the as the rest. I'm gonna grab a snare. Basic pattern, but the bounce is there on this one to use it. Uh, now I'm gonna go mess with my hi hats. So I think this beat sounds super full, so I'm just gonna mix it out and then uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna just throw my master on, and that's just pretty parametric EQ1. A pretty soft clipper. Uh, now that I got that, I'm gonna arrange this. So for the intro, I'm gonna just have all the melodic sounds. So there's no surprise. And then it's just gonna drop in uh, with everything. Yeah, I really like the vibe of this beat. I think it's really nice. I'm gonna just do a little double clap here to go into the bridge. This is the beginning of the verse. So that sounded like too much of a switch with just the mallet. So what I'm gonna do is make this piano unique and I'm just gonna eliminate the top melody on the second half of the verse. And uh, then we'll just have the mallet. I'm gonna bring in the drums for the second half of the bridge. Duplicate this over twice, and then I delete the end. Duplicate that over for a nice, uh, for a nice outro. Now I'm gonna throw my tag on this really quick, and uh, we might mess with the intro here in a second. I just want to make sure that's on there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna mess with the intro, and if I come up with anything, I will show y'all. I'm gonna add this uh, ambience, but I'm gonna tuck it into the back with the fruity love filter. It's just bird ambience. I might even reverse it, see what that sounds like. Yeah, I think that sounds cool. Let's see if there's anything else I can come up with. So, I have an idea. Oh, that is so loud. Sorry about it. All right, so I got it set up how I want it set up. Uh, I routed all the melodic elements do this insert number 12 channel uh, and you just do that by undoing it from the master and sending it here so then everything all the melodic elements come through this channel then what i did is i added an eq took out a lot of the highs a lot of the lows and then i added a reverb and uh i created automation clips for those so in the beginning where there's this sound effect those uh those effects are on. And I also did an automation clip on the volume. And so as you can see, it kind of slowly rises till after the explosion's done. And then for the final four bars of the intro, I totally cut the, uh, the effects there. So now the beat sounds like this. Um, but before I play it, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to get out of here. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It helps me so much. 500 subs, brand new, free loop kit. 
uh, tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your grandpa, whoever you got to tell, you tell them. And uh, yeah, we're doing this thing. So um, once again, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to let you guys hear the rest of this beat and I'm going to get out of here. This is your boy Haba, Nick, or Nahaba, and I'm out. Peace. Oh, shit.